Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew and welcome to the AWS tutorial series on Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, also known as the ELK stack. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Elasticsearch in cluster mode, set up Logstash, and so it monitors the command line and dumps its output into Elasticsearch, and then how to use Kibana to report off of that. Um, so this is going to be a pretty in-depth tutorial, so I'm going to break it up into multiple videos so that one video doesn't get too long. And prior to this tutorial, I've already launched four servers. Um, they are Amazon Linux AMI. Um, two of them are going to be for Elasticsearch, one Logstash, and one Kibana. I've assigned them all to a wide open security group since you know this is just a demo showing you how to get this up and running, I'm not really focusing on security groups today. I and mean, then I also have a load balancer that I've put both of my Elasticsearch servers in, which I will show you a little bit later. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to log into one of the Elasticsearch servers. I'm going to be duplicating the exact same thing on the other one, so we just need to do it on one. Um, so I'm going to copy the public IP and I'm going to log into the box. And you'll notice I'm logging in as EC2 user instead of my normal Ubuntu, and that's because that is the Amazon Linux user. Okay, so now we're logged in and we're going to sudo up. Now I've already um, have all the commands already set um, over here of what I need to do. Um, it's a lot of stuff, so it's a lot of typing, so I just figured I would go ahead and copy-paste everything. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, RPM of Elasticsearch. And you can find that on Elasticsearch's website. You go to the download page and the RPM is there. I mean, all I did was, you know, save the link and I did a wget. So now we're going to install it yum install Elasticsearch, give it a dash y so it installs it right away and we're good to go. So now we can see it's not running, at least it shouldn't be, Elasticsearch status. Um, so we can see Elasticsearch is already installed in the box but it's stopped. So now we need to go into the Elasticsearch directory and I'll post all of this information um, in the description as well. So now we're in the Elasticsearch directory, and what we're going to do is we're going to install three plugins. Now, uh, for this demo, two of them technically you don't really need, um, but I feel as if they are very important and I want to show you them. Um, one is a tool to kind of see uh, what indices are in your cluster um, and kind of where the shards are. And then another one is uh, gives you the ability to see the health of your cluster, which is really, really cool. Um, so this first plugin is called Elasticsearch Head, and we're going to install that. Second one is called Big Desk. And then the third one, which is the most important, is the Amazon Cloud plugin. Now this plugin um, gives us the ability to discover different Elasticsearch servers uh, within our cloud. Um, so basically, um, in Amazon, we're going to search for other Elasticsearch servers by a specific tag name, and I'll show you this later. Okay, great. So all of those installed. So now we are going to go in and configure uh, the Elasticsearch uh, YAML file. And I'm going to copy this, uh, this information here, and again, I'll, I'll show you what this means in a second. So here's the Elasticsearch YAML file. And basically at the top, we're going to copy and paste uh, what I showed in this file over here. So basically this says is, I'm going to name my cluster AWS Tutorial Series. I'm going to give it an access and a secret key from Amazon. I'm saying that all of my servers are in US East 1. The discovery type is EC2, so I'm going to look for other EC2 servers. And you notice here, this is the key. I'm looking for the tag, num tag name of AWS Tutorial Series dash Elasticsearch. And so what that basically says is I'm going to look for any other servers, such as these two, that have Elasticsearch on the box. And then the last two is a way for Kibana to talk to our Elasticsearch servers. So this core's allow origin, 
All we have to do is we have to find our Kibana server. We have to copy the IP address. And we just have to say HTTP and paste our address in there. So basically what this says is that every single one of these boxes, these Elasticsearch boxes, is allowed to talk to the Kibana server. So all we're going to do is we're going to save this out. I'm going to put in my access and my secret key and we're going to restart Elasticsearch and I'll show you that it works. So we're going to say service Elasticsearch restart. You can see obviously since it has never been started it said failed. So all we're going to do is we're going to curl localhost port 9200 because that's what Elasticsearch runs on. And we can see we get a status 200 and we already have a name. So I'm going to replicate this on the other server and then I'll put them into the load balancer and show you the plugins. So both of our Elasticsearch servers are now identical and I'm sure a lot of you watching this were yelling at me that my YAML file inside my server said Elasticsearch as two words and my EC2 servers were actually Elasticsearch as one word so I just had to flip that real quick. Um, and then I created a load balancer and this load balancer I'm saying inbound outbound uh, 90, port 9200 and my health check is also on 9200 and so we could see if we copy and paste our uh, DNS name over we get our cluster names so we could see Equilibrius and George Washington Bridge so we can see we're round robining between the two which is awesome so now I want to show you those two plugins that we installed. Uh, the first one is called Head. Now there's not going to be a whole ton to show you right now just because um, there's really no data in here until we start using Logstash. Um, but you can see here's both of my servers. They're both in the cluster. Um, if we had some indexes we could see them here and then we could use the browser to kind of look through those indices. Um, and there's also, uh, you can create queries, all sorts of really, really cool stuff. So as you start building out your cluster, this is a really, really good tool to kind of look at and, and overview what's going on. Um, now the other tool called Big Desk is also super cool because we can look at the nodes inside of our cluster and we can kind of take a look at their health. We can see what their CPU is at, we can see how their memory is going, if there's any swap happening. Um, there's all sorts of stuff we can look at over this entire cluster, which is really awesome. And then, although we don't have any data in here yet, when we get into uh, this cluster tab, you're going to see Venn diagrams um, that are really awesome, um, showing you of all the different indices inside of your uh, Elasticsearch cluster. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, so those are the two added plugins that I wanted to show you. Um, but you can see here that uh, these servers are in cluster mode and that they can see each other. And that when, once we set up Logstash, they'll be sharding against each other and I'll show you that as well. So the next step will be installing Logstash.